Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail based on a shooter, which is actually based on a popsicle, the classic bomb pop. Three colors, three flavors, and you know what? It's gonna look fantastic. Now, there's many different variations of the recipe, but we're going to show you one today that will layer easily and taste great. Let's get into it. Now this is a bit of a party trick favorite. You're gonna be able to layer these really, really easily if you follow these steps. So we're going to build this in a couple of different ways that once you're used to doing it, it'll be bang, 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 really quick, really easy. And you're gonna need two glasses. And we're going to start with the blue layer. And this is a blue curacao, which of course is an orange liqueur dyed blue. But we're going to start with half an ounce or 15 mils. Okay, so your next ingredient that you're going to mix with this is coconut rum or coconut liqueur. Totally up to you what you want to use for this, but we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Next, we are going to make the white layer, but first you just want to agitate this a little bit. Now, you could stir it if you want, totally up to you. You just need to make sure it gets mixed properly so that everything is well incorporated. Take this, throw it off to the side, grab your next glass, and what we're going to do is start with a white rum. Now in this case, I'm using Havana three-year-old rum. We're going to start with half an ounce or 15 mils. The next part that you're going to do is add a bit of a sweetener. Now, you'll find that a lot of people will use something like a lemonade, or maybe they'll just use water in the middle level. I don't like it because it doesn't hold up the top layer very well. So what I'm going to use is a little bit of cream of coconut. Now, you could substitute in uh, a simple syrup rather than cream of coconut if you don't want to build one. Now, I will put the ingredients and the method of how to make it down in the bottom down below for you. And we're going to use a good half an ounce or 15 mils. Perfect. Now, what you are gonna notice that that's going to separate out immediately just because of the fluid density, meaning the coconut cream is thicker and heavier than the straight rum itself. Just give it a really good mix to incorporate everything and it'll be perfectly fine, trust me. So, what we're going to do is start with the glass that we are going to now build this drink in. So there's no shaking, no fuss, no muss. But we're going to start off with a little bit of grenadine. And this recipe is very sweet. So if you have a sweet tooth, it's gonna be perfect. If you're not such a sweet tooth, totally up to you. Find a way to make it work for you and let us know in the comments down below what you think is the best way. And we're gonna pour in one ounce or 30 mils directly into the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to fill this glass with some crushed ice. Now, while we're doing that, what you will notice is that the grenadine will start to ride up the ice. That's okay, that is natural. Don't worry about it, that's part of the process right there. Okay, so put that off to the side and then grab your rum and coconut mixture and pour it on top. Perfect, and this will give us that nice buffer layer between our grenadine and our blue curacao and coconut rum. But what you wanna do is now add a little bit more ice on top like so, just to fill that up, and slowly pour this next mixture on top. Perfect, look at that, the quintessential bomb pop. Grab yourself a straw, slam it in there. You could mix the whole thing up or you could drink it by level. But it's exactly what you want. Sweet, rummy, coconutty, perfect for a hot day. What I'll do is I'll put the ingredients and the method of how to make these down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification as well so you get notified every time I put up a new video. Throw a like my way because you like what you see and you have a fantastic day.